Hey guys, welcome to the final tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux and this is the final tutorial for password cracking. So in my all of my tutorials till now I have taught you how we could go ahead and crack different types of passwords or generate word list uh, through various ways. So in this series of password cracking. I will begin in the, my previous tutorials. I began by showing off some basic password cracking principles. I developed an efficient uh, password cracking strategy, demonstrated how to use Hashcat, which is one of the most powerful password cracking programs. And then I showed how to create a custom word list using Crunch. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a custom word list based upon the industry or business of targets using Q or cool, as I say, or the specific word would be C E W L C in caps, W L in caps. That's what it is spelled actually. So most password cracking programs are only as good as the word list that you provide them. Brute force password cracking is very tedious and time consuming. But if you can find an appropriate and well designed word list that is specific to the user whose password you're trying to crack, you can save yourself hours, maybe days or even months and years of password cracking. And trust me, when you're trying to crack some extremely difficult password, it can also take you months. But normally people don't go to that extent until unless you actually have a supercomputer and you are trying to crack some password. Or you're trying to launch some kind of nuclear attack to other other country. So just joking. So uh, Crunch is a great at creating word list based upon a set of rules such as a number of characters, the character set, etc. But it doesn't enable us to choose a word list that is particular uh, to a business or industry or interest. We are humans and we are not always very creative and we often fall victim to the familiar especially when generating passwords. If we understand that, it can be helpful to finding potential passwords and generating a relevant password list. For instance, let's say employees at a construction company are most likely to use words for the passwords that are used in their industry such as lumber, girder, build, soffit, eve, etc. People in drug industry are more likely to have passwords such as prescription, drug at rate 1, 2, 3, hash, pound, narcotics, uh, barbiturate, etc. So you have the idea as to what I'm talking about over here now. now. So it's simply actually human nature or social engineering that words uh, we use in our everyday experience will first pop into our heads when we are considering passwords. That's why many people use their pet's name, spouse's name, children's name, birth dates, anniversaries, tree addresses, uh, etc. And these are not very creative and used words and numbers that first come into our mind are the one that we use normally. So leave these things apart. If you are a system administrator uh, or working under security, many people even keep the password as admin at the rate 123, admin plus 123, admin pound 123 or root at the rate 123, root pound 123 or something like that, which is actually very stupid. So let's get started as to how we could actually go ahead and use a queue. So we can use this lack of creativity to develop a specific word list for a specific company or industry. That's what cool or Q can do for us. I don't know how it is spelled, how it is uh, pronounced. It's uh, written as C E W L. So if you could see this, uh, you'll know what exactly I'm talking about. It's not, it's cool or Q or whatever it is. I'll call it Q, cool. So uh, Qul is designed to grab words from the company's website to create a specific word list to the company in order to crack passwords of the users at the business. So let's get started with cool. So I'll just go ahead and close this. So just fire up your Kali. I'll just open, sorry. And just type C E W L and type hyphen hyphen help. It will show you all the metadata and what it could go ahead and use to go ahead and crack the passwords. So note that the depth high, that is the hyphen D over here. Hyphen D is the minimum word length, hyphen M is the switches, hyphen D switch determines how deep that is the default is to into the website the cool will crawl grabbing words and hyphen M switch determines the minimum word of uh, minimum length of words it will grab. Since most firms have a minimum password length, there's no need to grab short words. In this case, I will be setting the minimum to seven letters. So let's see how we could go ahead and build a custom list with cool. To build a custom word list, we set the cool uh, to or cool to uh, sc uh, scraping words from the websites. Uh, so let's say I'll go ahead and use the Microsoft website. So it would be www.microsoft.com. So I'll go ahead and type Kali. Oh, sorry, not Kali. Uh, sorry, it's C E W L Q space hyphen W space custom 
underscore word list period txt space hyphen d space 5 space m because it will be between 5 to 7 and space 7 www.microsoft.com microsoft.com okay perfect and I'll hit enter <coughs> so let's break this down the hyphen w is the custom word list period txt file uh, the w uh, hyphen w means uh, it will go ahead and write to the file named as custom word list hyphen d would be uh, the depth that uh, Qul will crawl to the website that means inside the website the uh, 7 means the minimum word length in this case it will grab a word of 7 characters in minimum and uh, www.microsoft.com is the website this command will then crawl the uh, Microsoft website to a depth of 5 pages grabbing words at least 7 characters long after several hours of cracking or few minutes as, I, as you can see over here through the website Qul can uh, place all the words it found into inside the uh, file that is custom word period txt. We can then open it with any xtext editor. In our case, we will be using the notepad over here. So you can just go ahead and uh, type over here as leaf pad space and type custom word list. And okay, nothing has opened. I believe uh, my Okay, I believe I don't have connectivity to the internet. Let's check. Okay, I have connectivity. So let's go ahead and use some other website. Let's go ahead and check www. Let's say, for example, um, let me remember, I'll use a random sans period org. Let's see what we get or if we get something. Microsoft may be too secure that it does not allow crawlers to crawl inside that. Let's see what we get when we try sans.org. I just hope that this will not duplicate anything. Just combine this word with, so what we need to do finally uh, once it's done is that uh, we will combine this word list with another word list or one generated by crunch. So place these words uh, first as they are specific or to the this user or company and are more likely to be correct. Of course we can use Q uh, to create custom word list for password cracking targets other than the employees at a particular company. For example, if we know the individual who is our target is a football or a soccer fan we use a queue to crawl a soccer uh, site to grab soccer related words that is we can use queue to create specific password uh, list based upon just about any subject area by simply crawling a website to grab potential keywords so let me check if it's completed if it's not then i would have to likely end this tutorial okay it's still searching so once it has searched everything it will go ahead and write that down to our uh, own our um, custom word list but that is it for this tutorial and uh, yes that's uh, that concludes the whole chapter of uh, password cracking so that's it for this tutorial the next tutorial we'll be looking at something different and uh, yeah